Hey guys, it's Kevin here coming at you with another TA vlog and today I wanted to dedicate this vlog to a very important subject that is often overlooked, underestimated and stigmatized and that subject is mental health. So mental health is a very important subject because it includes our psychological, emotional and social well-being. It is how we react to things, how we express ourselves to our peers, how we feel and how we act and it is one of those subjects that we should always keep up with and keep to date and make sure that we're doing okay. So with that being said, I wanted to give you guys some tips on how you can improve your mental health or just keep it stable. Tip number one, value yourself. So what I mean by this is be kind to yourself, respect yourself and know that you hold value. Broaden your horizons by expanding what you like to do, your hobbies, and things you're good at. Tip number two, taking care of your body. So taking care of your physical body can improve your mental health. And you can do this by eating nutritionist meals, getting plenty of sleep, avoid smoking and vaping, obviously, and drink plenty of water. But you can also exercise in order to maintain a healthy body. One example of how I like to do this is I like to wake up early and go on morning jogs to a nature park near my house. As you guys know from previous vlogs, you know that I like jogging ever since I was a kid. My dad would take me to nature parks and we would go jogging together. So jogging is a way I like to maintain my mental health, but also maintain a healthy body. And it is something that I do to this day. The sun hasn't even come out yet, but I have a headlamp to help with that. Mental health tip number three, learning how to manage stress in an effective way. So stress is one of those normal things in life that we all have to go through and endure. So you might as well learn how to cope with it in an effective way, like using the one minute stress strategy that I will show you on the next clip, but also remembering to laugh and uh, smile in life. Um, studies show that researchers um, have found that laughter can boost your immune system, ease pain, relax your body, and reduce stress. mental health tip number four avoid the usage of drugs alcohol nicotine products or overall addictive substances this is a tip that is often ignored um, but it is an important one because the usage of these products can cause you to develop a an addiction and when you don't use these products your brain can go into um, relapse and have all these nasty symptoms um, and that is important that you avoid the usage of these products because they can take a deep decline and steep in your mental health. Mental health tip number five, adopt healthy habits and a set realistic and great goals. And what I mean by that is to decide what you want to achieve academically, professionally, or personally, and write it down in steps that you need to realize your goals. Aim high, but be realistic. Don't overschedule yourself. You'll enjoy a tremendous sense of accomplishment and self-worth as you progress towards your goal. I hope you guys found those mental health tips useful and apply them in your new future. But did you know that vaping can affect your mental health? Well, according to this True Initiative article, mental health can be affected by vaping in three ways. Current e-cigarette users have double the odds of having a diagnosis of depression compared to those who have never vaped. According to a 2019 JAMA study of nearly 30,000 current e-cigarette users above the age of 18, frequent vaping is tied to higher odds of 2.4 times of having a diagnosis of depression compared to never users. 
Vaping can worsen symptoms of depression. Based on the results of a 2017 study of nearly 2,500 ninth graders who had never previously used e-cigarettes or combustible tobacco in Los Angeles, those who used e-cigarettes at a higher frequency were associated with higher depressive symptoms. This also included feeling sad or having crying spells a year later. Nicotine use is significantly associated with higher levels of conditions like ADHD. In 2019, study of U.S. college students found that vaping significantly associated with higher levels of ADHD symptoms and nicotine dependence was correlated with greater anxiety symptoms. On November 13th, five days before the Great American Smokeout, my youth group, Tobacco Prevention and Control Coalition, hosted a GASO event where we were able to educate our youth members on the importance and why the Great American Smokeout was founded by the American Cancer Society. We were also able to do a bunch of bonding activities with a net, but also we did a Nerf gun battle, which was super fun, and I was also able to set up a Say What table where I was able to educate my community on what Say What is and what we do. With that being said, thank you so much for watching my TA vlog. If you want to learn more about tobacco prevention or more about what Say What is, please feel free to visit txawhat.com or at txawhat on majority of social media platforms. Thank you so much.